Happy Thanksgiving! We are running really late and I just wanted to hop on real quick and say Happy Thanksgiving! And I hope that you, I'm looking for my stuff while I'm doing this, and your family are having an amazing holiday. Happy Thanksgiving! It's crazy, guys. I did that look the other day, and my job requires me to constantly look at my phone, my laptop, cameras, and lights. When I was done my look the other night, I felt like I was blind, but that's happened before. It was like 3 o'clock in the morning, I had been in front of lights for hours, and I thought, you know... Obviously, I was just really tired, and I'd wake up in the morning, and everything would be okay again. Well, I only got about an hour of sleep, and that whole day, I had double vision. And I thought, well, I just need rest. My eyes are tired. They're going to get better. This isn't permanent. How could I go blind overnight? I mean, I can't see anything I'm doing right now. Before, I used my glasses for small print on my phone only. And normally only at night. So, I mean, I've always had perfect vision. Always, always had perfect vision. And as an artist, like, I, that's everything. Um, when I got pregnant with baby number five, I noticed in the evenings I'd have to, I was ha 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 having a hard time seeing small print, fine print, especially on my phone. Um... So I got some glasses for in the evening to see my phone. But now, I did that look on what? Was, was it Wednesday night? Or Thursday? Or Tuesday? Monday, Tuesday? It was sometime this week. Days ago now. And I still can't see. It is so scary. Oh my god. I'm like freaking out. Obviously, I'm sure they can get me a new pair. I'm going to get contacts, so I don't have to put my glasses on and I can still work. But how scary is that to think that my job is what did this to me? Like, I can't see because of my job. My job requires lighting and phones and laptops and, you know, things that are bright, which made my eyes stop working. And it hasn't gotten any better, so I'm worried that this is now permanent. And I need to get to see an eye doctor, go see an eye doctor as soon as possible to get some contacts. Because, like, right now, I want to do my eyebrows. But, like, everything's blurry. It's crazy. I mean, I can't even explain to you how this feels. And I have heard other influencers, other beauty influencers talk about this. Not exactly the way it's happened to me, but about things like this happening to them but it's crazy I've been doing this for less than a year and it's already affecting my vision like extremely I went to Walmart I had to get last minute decided to buy the kids all new brand new uh, little tuxes and dress for Jade and you know the clothes have sizes on them see I can't see what I'm doing the clothes have sizes each one's labeled I couldn't see the size even with my glasses on so I had to take pictures of the sizes and then enlarge. Like, how crazy is that? Oh my gosh, it's so scary. But anyway, we're having dinner at Mom and Dad's. Thank goodness. Um, we're getting ready to leave now, and normally I would already have a face on. But I'm blind. I know I'm not actually blind. I'm not blind. I obviously just need a new prescription. And I've never had blurry vision before, ever. Like, even when they prescribed me these glasses, I could still see clearly. And things, if I try to focus, are a little bit, like, I, I can kind of see, but it's kind of like double vision, like beer goggles. Things get, keep getting blurry. Oh my gosh. And like your comments, I'm not going to be able to read them until after I'm done and I enlarge them. It's, I mean, you know, I can't, like, I can't continue like this. I have to go get 
like first thing, I guess they'll probably be closed on Monday, Tuesday morning, I'm going to the eye doctor because I'm like losing my mind, not being able to see. Seeing is my whole life, you know? Like, if I couldn't hear as well or smell, anything else, I could handle that. But vision, it's my whole life. It's what I do. I'm an artist. So I'm like so upset. But anyway, I hope you guys are having a good day. And I just wanted to hop on and say happy Thanksgiving. And if there's anybody out there who's, you know, going through something hard or, you know, maybe you lost a family member or, you know, it's a hard, hard Thanksgiving this year, just know that you're not alone. And I love you, and there are so many things that we are all blessed with. And I was thinking about this earlier. We all have our, um, you know, we're all blessed in ways. We're all gifted in ways and not in other ways. And that's why it's so important that we need each other to build each other up. Because, you know, together as one unit, you know, the world, that's how we all work together. Without one another, we're worthless, basically. So we just need to work together. If the world was more open and more willing to each other, and more loving and compassionate towards one another, everything would be, the whole world would be such a better place. So I just want to inspire you to be more accepting and loving and caring of other people. Because you never know what they're going through. And how amazing they are. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's hard to explain. And I can't, like, communicate with you because I can't see your comments. For the love of God, pray for my eyes. My poor eyes. So I thought, I'm doing my makeup. I'll hop on and say hi real quick. It's really hard, especially for eyebrows. I'm going to stop for my eyebrows for a minute since I'm blind. And I did this Anastasia face the other day. It only took me five minutes. Like, we're supposed to be leaving now. So I'm going to try to do a really quick Anastasia face. What is my phone saying? Of course, I can't see it. So just ignore that. And I can't figure out how to enlarge the font on my phone, which would probably help. And then maybe I could see a little bit better. Because with my glasses on, it is less blurry, but still blurry. I can tell that I need a stronger prescription. Because this prescription that I did have was very mild. Like, very mild. So. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Anyway. So I'm putting on a little bit of a Milani blush. And of all people, your glam girl is not glammed on Thanksgiving. I've been way too busy running around, getting my kids perfect, running back and forth from the market to my house to help my mom out for dinner. We're already supposed to be there, but we're late, as always. But the kids all match. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. All the boys match, and then Jade's dress matches their tux, little tux. Oh my gosh, they got little ties, everything. I'm going to take pictures. And put them in my story so you guys can see how stinking cute they are. And then I'm in black and Daddy has a red shirt. So we all kind of match. I don't know why. I'm upset. I'm one of those crazy moms. Every Easter, Christmas, Thanksgiving. I have to get everybody matching clothes. Now I didn't buy this for myself. I already had it. It's black, I figure. It matches anything. Okay, so Anastasia face. This is what I did the other day when I met up with Lori. And I had like two minutes to get ready. So I used, I think I used the darkest one. This is the Sun Dipped Anastasia for contour. Now this isn't going to be perfect because we're talking like five minutes here. So I just went in there with my highlighting brush real quick. And it's kind of dark, you can see. Pretty dark. And then I did the same thing down here. What's kind of neat about it is it's like a glowy contour. Obviously, I wouldn't want to do this all the time because it takes a lot. And, you know, 
it's expensive, <laughs> but it's really neat that you can do a full glam face with this little kit contour highlight in five minutes or less. So I just want to sh show you guys how I did that the other day because I thought, well, I don't have time to do my makeup, so I'll hurry up and try to do an Anastasia glow face like I did the other day. It's not going to be perfect, but it's still really pretty. So a little bit of Milani blush, the dark, darkest one in the kit for the contour. You could use the other one too, it'd probably work fine depending on your skin tone. Go on your forehead. I always do, well sometimes I do blush, contour blush, sometimes I do contour, then blush, but a lot of times I do blush, contour blush which kind of sounds like it doesn't make sense, but it does because you end up blending it together and then highlight. So I'll do like blush, contour, highlight, blush, highlight. Alright, so that's kind of blended. You see my neck here. I'm going to take it down. And the cool thing is, is working with this fan for contour, which I normally don't do, but if you're in a hurry, look how quick that was. And then you're just going to clean that up with your... Um, you know, your concealer. Now I'm going to go in with the, I'm just going to wipe it off on my arm. Make sure there's no more on there. With the brightest one. Dig in there and go up for my highlight. And then I always go back in with the blush. Just to brighten it up a little bit. And then clean it up with your concealer and you're done. Add a lip and then a lash. Lip, lash. I don't do my eyes when I'm in a hurry. The only thing I do is put highlighter on as eyeshadow. And I'm going to have to finish these eyebrows. So, see how pretty that glow is? I don't know how. I can't see my, my... There's two of my heads. When I look at the camera, I see two heads. So, I don't know what it looks like to you on the camera. <laughs> Hopefully, it's showing up. <laughs> and by next week, I'll have contacts and... We'll be good to go again, and my whole life won't be over. Highlight my nose and my lips. I like to get my whole upper lip. And if it's too much, just tame it down with your concealer. It's funny, I didn't think I was going to like this as much as I do. I really do like it. Because you can do... You know, like for mommies who are in a hurry, I know it's a little bit expensive, but it works so well and it blends so easy that I feel like it's worth it. If you want a really pretty glammy look when you're in a huge hurry. So for a mom of three or four or five or six kids like me, a little kit like this is worth it because it looks amazing and you only spent a couple minutes doing it. Glam on the go. Right? So, do you guys already have dinner? We're supposed to eat at 3. It's about 2 o'clock here. We're already supposed to be there. But like I said, I've been running back and forth from mom's all day. And w believe it or not, Walmart's open. Thank goodness, because we needed marshmallows and potatoes. All these little things we forgot to get. So, now I'm going to go with my blush. And brighten up my cheeks and my forehead and my neck. No, but just as an influencer, I feel like obligated a lot of times to try to it, like get people to open their eyes up and realize that like you know, people who are judgmental and hateful towards others, a lot of times people really good people do it. They don't even realize they're doing it. So I try to I try to encourage and bring it up as much as I can because I feel like you know, I just hope to open the eyes of others to realize that like you're being judgmental and it's not okay. Because I used to be judgmental and I didn't even realize I was doing it. You know what I mean? So like like I wasn't doing it to be mean. It I I just did it. I don't know why. Obviously, I don't do that anymore. I wasn't mean to people. I never left mean comments. 
there were just weird thoughts that would go through my head that should have never went through my head. Um, but, you know, obviously, you're never going to know if somebody's like that unless they admit it, one. But I'm talking about the people who are more open about it, you know, on Instagram and on social media and how could they kind of just lash out and attack people when you have no idea who you're talking to, what that person's really like. It's just not fair, so don't do it. And it's... Sorry, my nose is still running. And it's Thanksgiving. So I just wish, I just wish that I can make everyone in this world thankful for everyone in this world. Because I am thankful for everyone in this world. I have a heart that loves everybody. Even the people that hate me. It's crazy, I know. But that's how I am. It's how God made me. That's why I'm an influencer. Because I love the haters. Because I can relate with them. I was never a hater, but I was so broken that I probably wasn't the nicest person. In the I was nice to everybody. I was always nice to everybody. But I wasn't open. I was shut down. I was closed-minded because I was so broken. So I know there's a lot of people out there who are broken and they're not actually mean or bad people. They're good people with amazing hearts and a ton of um, potential, but because they're so broken, it comes out off as judgmental and, you know, just wrong. Which is, you know, looking back, I know I was judgmental and wrong. You know, I would judge people for situations that they were in when I had no right because I, I didn't, how could I judge them for the situation they're in? I mean, I would just do it in my head. I would never talk behind anybody's back or anything, but I did. I thought like, how could she do that? Stuff like that. When in reality, I had no idea what was really going on. So why would I judge? I don't do those that things and I don't do those things anymore. I never have those thoughts in my head. I can go down my whole uh, Facebook feed, Instagram feed, run into anybody at the market and see somebody that looks beautiful or somebody that looks like a pile of poo and there's no judgmental thoughts in my head, you know? And I see everyone is equal. Equal. You know, I can see like the most beautiful girl in the world and the ugliest girl in the world right beside each other and I'm going to feel the same about both of them. Do you know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to explain. <laughs> to me, they're both just as valuable. You know, because she might look beautiful, but she might be more beautiful on the inside. Or, you know what I mean? Because everybody has something to offer. Not only you, but the world. And we need to appreciate that. <laughs> appreciate everyone. Because they deserve to be appreciated. Even the really bad people. Because sometimes the bad people just need help. Now, granted, there's only so much help you can give. Because, you know, you have to come to a point where you're like, okay, you know, I'm just going to say I love you and goodbye. Because I've done that, and I still do that. It doesn't mean I don't love them, though. It doesn't mean I don't appreciate them. It just means that I can no longer allow them in my life because it hurts me more than it helps me. Which I'm sure you guys understand. But that's... At, that's not just judging somebody. That's knowing somebody after somebody's hurt you for years and years and years and years and you tried and you tried and you tried and you tried and you got to the point where you realized, well, I'm going to have to say I love you goodbye because, you know, this relationship is going to hurt me and my life and my family and my career, so it's not worth it to continue. That's what I'm talking about, you know, versus, like, people you don't know, don't judge them because you don't know them. People judge people over, like, the littlest things. I, I put up on my Facebook yesterday because I make beauty vids. And, um, I did some lip vids, too, because they're quick and easy. And I don't have any time. Oh, my God, I can't see. For the love of God, help me. I can't see. Um... Anyway, my mouth is shaped like this. Okay, so this is my mouth. <laughs> Okay, this is my mouth closed. Okay, so my upper lip goes up and out. My bottom lip goes down and out. 
So this is my mouth closed. <laughs> it's hard not to laugh. Hold on. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? There's an opening, okay? So in order to close my mouth, it's unnatural. I have to press my lips together. And it looks weird. Like, that's not how my mouth is meant to be. God made me like this. This is a closed mouth April. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? So like, this is my mouth closed. Okay, so if I'm doing a lip vid, I'm going to do a lip vid and my mouth's going to be open because this is my mouth closed. If I try to close my mouth and do a lip vid, I'd be like this. And it would look weird and unnatural and ugly. But so then I get all these comments and all this hate, not only on lip vids, but on my beauty vids, because my mouth's open. Like as if I'm trying to be suggestive or like sexual whenever that's just my freaking face like that's my face this is my face this is my mouth and on my Facebook I even put a picture of Asher he's my number number my fifth baby and he came out with his mouth open his mouth is shaped exactly like mine his lip goes up and out and down his bottom lip goes out it's just how his mouth I mean his mouth's always open like I mean uh, a closed mouth for us is this. It's genetics. It just is what it is. It's not anything good or anything bad. It's just my face. But people can't accept other people. And they have to be judgmental. Like, you know, like, I posted pictures of my newborn baby to show that genetically he has my mouth. And he was born with it open. And I highly doubt that he was trying to be quote, suggestive or sexual by leaving his mouth open. No, he was born that way. That's the way God made him. Right? That's the way God made me. I'm not trying to be anything that I'm not. It's just an example of people trying to find excuses to hate other people and trying to find excuses to put other people down. And it's just so stupid stupid and it's so petty and it's so ugly and it makes me so angry because the thing is, is and somebody commented like April don't let it get to you who cares I don't care say whatever the heck you want to me I don't care like I'm beyond all that I don't care what you know if you're gonna hate you're gonna hate not that I can do about it but as an influencer I feel like I have to when somebody does it to me I have to try to stand up for myself and show people to open their eyes to enlighten them so to speak because I know that it might not hurt me but it could like destroy somebody else who's fragile you know what I mean which is what I'm trying to do open people's eyes a little bit just a little bit especially on Thanksgiving give people a chance before you rip them to pieces and why why do people hate to see other people su succeed? I don't get it. I've never ever witnessed anything so just awful in my life. Like, the more success I have, the more hate I get from my own family and friends. Not from you guys. But it just proves how, like, shallow and, like, awful people are. People want to see you fail. They don't want to see you succeed. I'm not talking about everyone. I'm talking about some, pe some people. They want you to fail. They want to see you fail. They're waiting for you to fail. And they're going to make you feel like you're going to fail. So you just got to make sure that no matter what it is that you're doing, you don't let that affect you because then you will fail. But why on earth would anybody want anybody to fail? And why on earth would anybody not want somebody to succeed. I don't get it. I don't get it. But as an, you know, when you're an influencer and you put yourself out there, you deal with, you have to be, I'm constantly confronting, confronted with these issues every single day of my life. And it just makes me realize like big picture, how ugly the world is and how awful people are. You know, like it's just crazy. It's crazy. So, spread the mo spread as much as love as much love as you can every single day. That's all I can say because the more love you spread, at some point you'll touch somebody's heart 
and it'll, it will make a difference. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make a difference. <laughs> Spread love and beauty and acceptance to all of you, to everyone. To let you know that it's okay to be you, no matter what you look like, no matter where you're at in your life, no matter what mistakes you've made in the past, it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is what you choose to do today. Do you understand? You can change your whole life today. You don't have to be a failure. You don't have to you know, live your whole life filled with guilt because you did something wrong. Let go. Move on. Love and accept others and others will love and accept you. I promise. But you'll always have people hate you. There's nothing you can do about that. What I do, the more hate I get, the more, the more hate I get, the more love I send out, which does nothing but make, th make them more angry. And I'm not trying to make them angry, but that's just like in my heart what I feel I'm supposed to do. So if you send me hate, I'm going to send you love. And not to like, you know, instigate just because I feel like that's what I'm supposed to do. So, and then if that doesn't work, I let go and say goodbye. Not goodbye, but you know, I'll, I won't go any further. I'm not going to push or pressure anybody or anything like that. I'm just going to say, listen, that's not cool, but I forgive you. You know, sometimes it just takes people longer to get it. Some people never get it. They'll never get it. Some people will get it young. Some people won't get it until they're 60 years old. You know, it's... I'm lucky that I figured it all out when I did. And I just want you guys to get there where you can love you and where you can love others and never feel insecure or, you know... I just never want you to feel insecure. I just want you to know that you're capable of accomplishing anything in this world. Anything. As long as your heart's in the right place, you know, then there's nothing stopping you. Because, you know, I set my head and I set a goal and I went towards it and I just keep succeeding because I'm doing all the right things for all the right reasons. If I was doing everything for selfish reasons, I probably wouldn't succeed. Well, this is going to be really hard blind. Because normally, there's a hair or something stuck on my lash. Normally, I get my lashes on in one pop. Maybe there's not something on my lash. I'm just blind as a darn bat. And there's glue on my fingers. Uh-oh. I will read all of your comments. Um, what, what, on our way over to mom and dad, I'll let daddy drive, and I will enlarge your comments with my glasses and read them all before we have dinner. But we need to get out of here. My mom's going to start panicking. <laughs> I mean, she's pretty... Oh, I never have this much trouble. She's pretty used to me being late, but... I'm supposed to be helping her right now, and instead I'm putting on makeup. Which is not a smart idea, because I can't see anything! But, I mean, that's who I am. Like, this is... Just pray that I can get contacts, like, a ASAP. <laughs> I hope that I can go into the doctors on Tuesday... Get my new prescription the same day, because I don't want to go another day like like this. I cannot. I can't. It will break me. I have to be able to see. It is my life. I want to see you. I want to see what you're saying. I want to see my face when I'm doing my makeup. I want to see my kids. Like, come on now. How, how can I continue my life as an artist without vision? I just keep telling myself, though, I'm not the only one in the world who um, has had problems like this before. It's fixable. My daughter, my poor daughter, has to wear glasses. 
she's she's extremely farsighted they didn't really tell me what I was my my eye problem was so mild that it wasn't a big deal but now I think this is probably a big deal what Malachi kicked you come here baby come here come here you can see JD she looks so beautiful Malachi and her fighting he kicked her toddler kicked her he kicked you in the face he's the daddy put him in timeout come here come here Come here, say hi. Me a lot. Oh, look. Say hi to all my friends. Come here. Hi. Where's that little stool? Bring that stool over here. Okay. Stand up here. Say hi to my friends. Say happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Look how beautiful. You're okay, sweetie. Isn't she beautiful? Oh. They all have black and red today. Why does everyone kick me? I thought Malachi kicked you. Malachi did. Why did he kick me? I don't know. He was being mean. He's in timeout. He's laying down where you won't let me sit down, but I want to before he start kicking. Well, Daddy put him in timeout. And the one that hurt the most is when he kicked me in the face. Where did he kick you? He Show me. First he kicked me. First he kicked me in the face and then he kicked me everywhere else. You're gonna be okay. So Jade, what are you thankful for? Tell our friends what you're thankful for. I'm thankful for mommy and daddy. Aww. And I forgot um the last one. And I'm thankful for what about my grandma? family. Yeah, grandma and papa. Um, there's no grandma and papa up on the board, so I didn't know how to spell it. Oh, you but don't have to write it down. Just tell them what you're thankful for. Um, you thankful for grandma papa, and papa? Grandma. Your whole family, right? And grand yeah, I said family. Yeah. What else? Anything else? My friends. My teacher. You love your teacher, huh? What about God? Are you thankful for God? Mm -hmm. I'm thankful for everyone. Are you thankful for them? For everyone. Did you hear that? She said, I'm thankful for, for everyone. That is so important. She is thankful for everyone. That's what today's about. So thankful for everyone. Everyone! Right, baby? Mm -hmm. Even when people aren't very nice to us, we still have to be thankful. Like Evan, he's not always nice to you, is he? But you're still thankful that he's your brother, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Because you love him. And even though he can be really mean sometimes, you still love him because he's he can also be really nice and caring sometimes too. So everybody has really good things and bad things. We all have our flaws, but that's okay. Nobody's perfect. Mommy needs a pair of glasses, probably like JD's now. But I'm gonna switch my glasses. I did get I did get the lashes on, guys. Barely, which is never a problem for me. I don't know how well they look, though. Yeah, we're leaving. Yeah, I know it's time to go. I, I had to do my makeup anyway. Are you ready? Evan! Come on, bud! Where's Evan wearing his shoes? His new yeah, shoes. Evan's all dressed up. He's got his dress shoes on. He's got his tux on. Yeah, we're leaving. Come here real quick, Evan. Watch my basket of makeup there. Say hi. Say, come here. Get in this picture better. Please? Can you get in the picture better? I'm in a hurry. You don't want to say Happy Thanksgiving? Oh, Evan, they didn't see you. Well, he's difficult. Happy Thanksgiving. Say, why don't you tell him thank you for supporting our family? Thank you for I can't say. Thank you for support. Thank you for loving and support. Thank you for loving our family.
I could write. All Say right. thank you for loving us. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for supporting my mommy. Thank you for supporting my mommy. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you. I gotta go. I really gotta Bye. go. Bye. We love you. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm gonna wave. I can't. They can't see. They me can here. see your hand. Bye. Love you so much. Happy Thanksgiving. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit, and hopefully, I'll be able to see you then. Oh, I phone off. Turned out pretty good, considering I'm blind as a bat. From the angle in the mirror that I can see, you can see the glow really good. I don't know if you guys can see the glow really good. Maybe I should flip the camera.